Hello, Dr. J here. Uh, I'll be talking about one of the most basic signals when you're dealing with uh, Fourier series or Fourier transforms, and that's basically the sinusoids. It's a general class of signals consisting of a collection of sines and cosines, and it has a very simple mathematical representation. However, it's one of the most basic signal in signals and systems that you'll find. Mathematically, you can express the sinusoid as a function of x of t where is equal to a cosine omega 0 of t plus phi, where a is the amplitude, omega sub 0 is the radian frequency, and phi is the phase shift. Here we have a cosine function given as follows, x of t equals a cosine 2 pi f0 t plus phi, where phi is 0, a is equal to 1, this is omega 0, 2 pi, and it has a frequency of 1 hertz. So this is a graphical representation of this math equation of the cosine function, where we have the amplitude oscillating between 1 and minus 1. If a was 2, then this would be oscillating between 2 and minus 2. Here we have an amplitude of 1. We have uh, a is equal to 1 in this case, and a is minus 1. So it oscillates again between 1 and minus 1. Frequency is related by 1 over t0, where t0 is the period. And in this example, t0 is equal to 1, which means that 1 over t0 is equal to 1. The period interval is defined where it starts to repeat, so you can measure the peak from here to here, or you can measure the minimum from here to here, and that will give you the period as well. So that's the cosine function. Now we're going to take this cosine function and shift it by 90 degrees, and just uh, as a review, this function has a phase shift of 0 degrees because we're measuring with respect to this peak here. So we're going to move this peak such that it's 90 degrees or one-fourth of the period. Now we're going to take this cosine function and shift it by 90 degrees. And what we should get is a sine function shown here. And I'll show that mathematically. But here we have the same period from this peak to this peak of one second. We have an amplitude of one where it oscillates from a value of one and minus one and we're providing a phase shift of minus 90 degrees depending on how you define your reference function. So here's our reference function. We have x of t equals cosine 2 pi with a time shift of 0.25. Okay, so this is our time shift and in this example our phase shift or time shift is one fourth of the period. Again our period is equal to 1. So our peak from the origin is moved to one-fourth of the period and in this example it's 0.25 so that's our time shift now when you multiply all this out 2 pi times 0.25 we get pi over 2 and in this case that's 90 degrees or minus 90 degrees for our phase shift and the resulting function here is sine 2 pi t Okay, we're going to do a little bit practice with this quiz in identifying the properties of the sinusoids. The properties of the sinusoids that we're going to identify are the amplitude, the frequency, which is related to the period, and the phase shift. This software was downloaded from the Georgia Institute of Technology. So here we have a sinusoid given by this red line, and then I'm going to show you the guess based on what parameters we input here, here, and here and we should have a blue line overlaying this red line to see if our guess is correct. Okay, so here we have an amplitude of 1, okay, because the values oscillate between 1 and minus 1. So I'm going to put here the amplitude is 1. Next, I'm going to take a look at the period. You could see here it repeats. Let's say we start from the origin and the first peak occurs here, the first peak occurs here, which is later, which is going to identify our uh, phase shift or time shift, and here it repeats after two seconds. So two, and let's look at the units here, two seconds or two milliseconds. One over two milliseconds is 500 hertz. 
So I'm going to put 500 hertz here. Again, we see here the first peak occurs with respect to the origin is about 1.5 seconds away from the origin. Since this has a period of 2 uh, milliseconds, the first peak occurs at 1.5 milliseconds. So when you divide 1.5 divided by 2, so that gives you 0.75. Now you take that 0.75, multiply by 2 pi, because 2 pi is one period, or 360 degrees. 0.75 times 2 pi is 1.5 pi. So you input here the phase, 3 times pi divided by 2. The negative occurs here because the peak is delayed from the peak at the origin. So let's take a look at our guess. And we see that we have the correct equation since our blue line overlaid with the red line. Again, the cosine has an amplitude of 1 with a frequency of 500 with a phase shift of negative 1.5 pi. So let's try another example here. I'll let you, uh, you can pause this video and see if you can identify the amplitude, frequency, and phase. And in a minute I'll tell you what the answer is. Okay, so for this example we have an amplitude of 2 because it oscillates between 2 and minus 2. So I'll put 2 here. We see that the period is from this peak at the origin to this peak at 2 milliseconds, we have a, a 2 milliseconds period, which corresponds to a frequency of 1 over 2 milliseconds, or 500 hertz. And then we can see that the peak occurs right at the origin, so the phase shift is 0. And let's see if our guess is correct. And here we have it. So we have an amplitude of 2, a frequency of 500 hertz, and no phase shift. That concludes this talk on sinusoids, and hopefully it gives you an idea what sinusoids are. Again, I mentioned earlier I used the software SignGrill.m from the Georgia Institute of Technology. You can use your favorite search engine and type in these words and you should get a, a link going to this software. Or you can uh, basically follow this link and on the next slide you can see here uh, what the general uh, web page looks like and I scroll down to show you and highlight uh, the sign drill program that I downloaded. It's up to uh, version 2.09. Signing off is Dr. J.